Hey what's going on guys, today's video is about aligning elements with CSS by using the text align property. We will also see how to position elements in the center of the page. So if you are ready, let's get started. So as usual, on the left side of the screen is my text editor VS Code and on the right side you will currently see my local search. The text align property is used for aligning HTML elements or text to the left, right or to the center of the page. By default, everything is positioned on the left side of the page and one of the way that we can change it is that by using the text align property. However, in some cases, this doesn't work as we expect. Just keep watching till the end of this video and you will understand why. Here I have defined a div tag with some text inside. And now if I give a text align property to the div tag and assign its value to center, we see that the text will be moved into the center of the page. Works perfectly. However, if I replace the div tag with a span, for example, and also change its selector, this time we see that nothing has happened. So why is that? Well, this is the part where everybody gets confused. It's happening because some HTML elements are block level elements, whereas others are inline elements by default. And the text align property works only for block level elements, like div h1 or p tags, and it doesn't work for inline and inline block level elements. If you don't know the difference between block level and inline elements, I recommend you to watch my other video that explaining them in details. So to sum up, the text align property has worked perfectly for the div tag because it's a block level element and didn't work for span as you can guess because span is an inline element. So what we can do to make this work also for the span tag. The first solution we can use is that we can change the default display of the span tag from inline to block level and this will do the trick. Exactly, now it has worked perfectly. If you like, we can also change the value from center to left or to the right. And these are the other values that we can give to the text align property. The second solution we can use is that putting the span tag inside a parent block level element like div. But this time, we need to give the text align property to the div tag and it will apply to all of its children and will position them in the center of the page. Exactly, this solution is also worked perfectly. This is another solution that we can use to align inline elements in the center by copying them inside a block level container. Let's talk about another case and this time we won't align inline elements but we align block level elements inside another block level element. P tag is another example of a block level element and I've created two of them here, but we can't see them yet. So let's give them a height and a background color in order to see them, like 50 pixels and blue. Exactly, now we can see our P tags as two blue rectangles. Now the problem here is that we can't position them in the center again because their widths are full sized and there is no place to move. What we can do here is to give a width like 100 pixels. Now there is enough space to move but unfortunately it still didn't work. This can be really frustrating for developers and that's why understanding the logic behind the block level and inline elements is very important. Here we need to change again the display behavior of the block level elements of p tags. So if you change them to inline, you see that we lose the element's height, which is not good, which we don't want. But there is a third display behavior, which keeps the height of the element is called inline block. If you apply this, your elements will be back and they will be positioned in the center or if you like, in the right or in the left of the page. So these are some of the difficult points of the text align property that I would like to show you. 
But the reason that why it doesn't work as we expected is because probably we don't have a better understanding of the display property, which is much more important also to work together with aligning elements by using the text align property. If you don't know much about the display behavior, watch my other video that I explained them in details. If you have any questions, comment down below. Otherwise, if you liked the video, don't forget to share and to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.